Greetings fellow nerds, welcome to the first Backlog Battles Tasting. I'm your host, Geoda Distractable Gamer. With me today is my co-host, KTG. And today we're going to be doing a tasting of 30 Days of Candy. So as you know, we do boxes here, and now we're doing food boxes. So I'm going to start with this first one. I believe the theme for this one is Around the World in 30 Days. So... We may only get halfway through because it's a lot of candy. Alright. Slip that out of here. Alright, so first off, just the box. Ooh, durian. Um What? Yeah, that's what it says. Durian. Oh my god. I don't I'm Durian. Your next sweet adventure is from Durian. Ew, no. <laughs> um okay, I so the box it. is like um I do not like durian. Oh. It tastes like onions. I don't like onions. Um, the box looks like a little candy thing, and then when you get on the inside, besides your around the world in 30 days, I hate these lights. It's really bright. Um, so 30 candies from 30 countries is the theme, and then you have 30 different candies kind of just laid out in individual packages. I'm excited. And it says candy in a bunch of different languages that I'm not going to try to speak. Um, Alright, so I guess just start with the first one. Are these numbered? Or, Are they, or should we just go down? America. America! Alright, so uh, the U.S. candy. Um, an American classic since 1924. Oh yeah, so each of them comes with a little card that explains... Uh, what the candy is. So this one, an American classic since 1924 and still American made. Bitter Honey has remained virtually unchanged for over 90 years, except for the wrapper, of course. It is a perfect little piece of candy heaven. Bitter Honey has gone through quite a few owners over the years, but the recipe has thankfully always remained the same. Four pieces in here and each apparently is 25 calories because the whole thing. have to share one piece. I mean, I know what these taste like, but they're they're, they're pretty I hard. Eat the whole thing. Um, just rewrap it, I guess. Yeah. This I don't know. Like so I'm gonna try it. Like, I mean, <laughs> over the next week. Anybody? These are pretty easy to find in any candy store. So, all right, I don't plan to be <laughs> too surprised. Mm. What it, it tastes, tastes like? Melanis. Melanis. Mm. Tastes like what I expected it to taste like. I've never had this candy before. In my oh, life. really? Yeah. It's like got a, a weird nougat honey taste. Yeah, it's good. I don't like, like chewy candies, that's probably why. Mm. Like, I don't like things being stuck in my teeth, but the taste yeah. is good. So that is our first country. Interesting. You want to call? Yeah. So you can find these anywhere. You want to taste them. Okay. It looks like the next one is from Austria. Pez is from Austria? I didn't know that. Apparently. No. There it is. Pez began in Vienna in 1927 as a breath mint. The famous Pez dispenser wasn't introduced until 1949 and was originally designed to look like a cigarette lighter to encourage people to have a mint instead of a smoke. Disney characters were among the first licenses, so we've included a fun bonus in this month's box. Fun fact, the word Pez comes from the first, middle, and last letters in Pfeppermins, the German word for peppermint. Yeah, we're Which, cherry, so not cherry. Oh wait, you like cherry. I like cherry Flavor candy. candy. Great. I'm gonna load this up with cherry. Yeah. I got the Pez dispenser. Do the cherry. Oh, Daisy. You know what though, I don't remember how you do this. Where are we, where are we piling these? I don't know, just sit in there. Well, I'm not gonna load up the Pets dispenser. It's a little Most tedious. people have had Pez. Yeah. There you go. One cherry Pez. Pez! But I did not know that Pez is warm. American candy. You see mm. these kind of everywhere. So that's interesting. Nice thing. I didn't know that. I would never have guessed. We, we really owned it. Yeah, this one happens to be made. It's like pizza. I might have started somewhere else, but it belongs yeah, to us we, now. Sorry, we took it. All right, now we got a weird one. 
Ooh. Okay, this is called Unican Milkita. Milkita. Milkshake candy. From where? And this is from Indonesia. So that's what it looks like. It's like a warhead package, kind of. With it's the, sour? I don't know. It's Well, it says milkshake flavored. You got melon, oh. melon, strawberry, strawberry, and one chocolate. One chocolate. With the exception of milk chocolate, here in the U.S., we really... We don't really use milk as a candy flavor, and we really wish that would change. In Asia, milk is a favorite flavor and is used in all kinds of candies. In our research for the launch of the 30 Days of Candy, these milky hard candies came our all-time favorites. Fun fact, Milkita is the number one candy of Indonesia. I have never heard of this candy before. I've heard of a lot of Indonesian like street food. And what kind of flavor do you want? Oh, you know what? The melon. You I want, want to try melon. melon milkshake? Melon milkshake. Okay. That's going to be interesting. Is it? Oh, it's like hard candies. I think so. Uh-oh. It's like a, <laughs> like a Werther's. I think they come in a package kind of like this. open yours so easy? I just ripped it. Whoa. So it's like a, a weird little... Candy can cause choking. Ah! Unless mm. it comes from Indonesia. Mine's good. Mmm. I like it. That's like um like a melon um high chew. But mm. like mellower and less fruity. Mine is it's chocolate, and chocolate's weird when it's not chocolate, you know? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have a bad bad taste. It's kind of like the chocolate Werther's, but more milky. It's the same Damn, it's going to take forever to eat this thing. Bit of honey. I know. Oh, are you chewing it? I didn't know you yeah. could do it. I thought it was a hard candy. No, it's, it was really it's hard just like the bit of honey. I think it's a little... It's probably a little stale, you know. Like I bet if this was like fresh out of the factory, it would be really like soft, like hmm. like high shoes. Like you know, sometimes you get really soft ones, and sometimes you don't. Yeah, and this one's been sitting around a minute. Mm -hmm. All right. Pro tip: if you're doing food tasting, to get water to. This one kind of. Cleans your palate. Okay, next is Jordan almonds. But they're from France, not Jordan. Okay. <laughs> Jordan almonds or Jage, I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> are, <laughs> they're one of the oldest confections in the world, dating back a thousand years. While almonds are certainly grown in Jordan, oh, the name actually comes from the anglicized French word for garden, hardin. I don't know how to say these. And in context, meant cultivated rather than wild almonds. Hmm. And there's a Voltaire quote on the other side, prejudices are what fools use for reason. So that has to do with almonds. And there. Just some almonds coated in some candy. I like almonds. Hmm. I think you can get these in different colors too. Don't they serve these at weddings? It's crunchy though. Mm. Yeah, like a hard candy shell. Crunchy. And then weird little inside thing. Jelly beans. Jelly beans! I wonder if these are the mm. any flavor beans. Um, founded in 1980, 1998 in Dublin by father and son team Peter and Richard Cullen, which I think is the parents of Edward Cullen. <laughs> uh, this family-owned business continues to surpass all expectations. Their jelly beans are all natural, no artificial flavors, fair trade, GMO, fat, gluten, and gelatin-free. Mm, that's a gelatin-free jelly bean. I've not seen one of those before. That's, yeah, me either. And this one. shouldn't be so surprising because it's a jelly bean. I'm gonna take is this it Jelly Belly? One. Or is it like No, it's the Jelly Bean Company. There's like so many different things. I just don't want to get like a cinnamon one. Mm. Blue. This blue is like the mango. Same one. 
What, what color was yours? Orange? Orange with some red dots on it. Okay, blue. I was thinking passion fruit, but it's very mango-y. It's like chewier than a normal jelly bean, though. I've tasted this before, but I don't know. Oh my god, it tastes just like a fruit roll-up. Mm. Like the purple ones, the blue and purple swirl. Oh my gosh, blast to the past. Thank you, Ireland. I really appreciate it. I have to chew this for a second. <laughs> oh my god, Korea. South Korea. These delicious fruit flavored hard candies are from the Daylight Confectionery Company, a small independent 45 employee company in Busan, South Korea, specializing in fruit flavored hard candies. South Korea is very cold and dry in the summer and the winter and very wet and humid in the summer, perfect for growing delicious fruits. Please enjoy these assorted flavors. And they're really pretty and happy. Oh, it's so bright. There we go. So there's melon, strawberry, and... Raspberry, watch. Is that raspberry? No, it's like it's apple. Just a, how hot pink that is. Oh, strawberry's the... It doesn't say. I don't it. read Korean. I have no idea. Should we both try a mystery flavor? I don't know this. I don't is. want to try the melon again. How do you know that that's? I don't know. Well, just the leaves. There's like little leaves, mm. but it's like jelly beans. This is gonna be shaped? mint. Maybe it's a lychee. I'm eating it. Whatever. I have no idea. I'm trying what that the is. red one. I'm gonna try the strawberry one. Oh, it's hot pink. I'm guessing this is going to be raspberry. I'm going to hate it. It's not going to be raspberry. It would be obvious. They never have raspberry flavors in Asia. I've never seen one. It's good, whatever it is. This tastes like strawberry flavor. Mm. Well, it's just hard candy. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It was super good though. I wish I knew what kind of. Mm -mm. Okay. What does this taste like strawberry flavor? I can't put my finger on it. Like the kind we have here when you eat a strawberry flavored candy. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's hard candies to take forever. Alright, we'll start this up. Norway! Oh, this is Ooh. licorice! Oh! Yuck! No! Oh. Uh, we could die. There's three, there's only three pieces we're gonna have to share. Did you know that Look you could out. die from eating too much licorice? Look out. This is like a brick, okay? I don't even it's like wanna. a brick of licor <laughs> licorice. Just open one of them and we'll both taste a little bit. <laughs> Alright, we all know that Nordic people, folks from Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, and Iceland, and the Dutch really love their licorice. Uh, I didn't know that, so we all I don't know that. I some of those and I say, no, no we don't. And we're not talking about the soft red stuff that we tend to prefer here in the U.S. We're talking about seriously strong and even salty dark stuff. Even these, salty? <laughs> these licorice ca caramels are a nice middle ground. Strong uh, licorice flavor, but a soft caramel at the same time. Okay, first off, this is caramel? not soft. A licorice caramel? Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna I'm be so nasty. I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm not that upset. I'm, I'm kind upset. of excited I to hate see a licorice. gross thing. Just I eat nibble a little bit so and give it bad. to me so we don't have to open the I'm other gonna ones. Cut it. I'm gonna cut it in half. Is it even soft? No. Well, oh, I guess how did you do that? <laughs> this is gonna be. I, I hate licorice. I really do. Oh, it smells like licorice! Like real! Like not like the other kind. Oh man. You're gonna eat the whole thing? Too late. I commit. The caramel is good, but that licorice oh, flavor. Oh, it's soft. Yeah, it's really soft. <laughs> what, what the hell is this? I don't know. No <laughs> way. What the heck is this? I'm never eating your candy again. Oh, this is bad. Oh! oh this no! Is so gross. It's mm, like I mm. want to like it, but then it's got this licorice mm. evil flavor. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like the caramel is a salty caramel, and you're like, oh, 
Yeah. And this is the kick in the face of licorice. Mm. It's like Werther's, like. I don't know. And Darth Vader <laughs> had a baby. Oh, this is really gross. It's like bitter. Oh. I got it down. Ooh, I got it down. Do like that? a champion. I can't do it. Oh, that was bad. The like, taste is still in my mouth, though. Oh, oh, mm -mm. No. No. I mean, this is a caramel. It's like in your teeth. Oh, this is. Oh. <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. I hate you, Norway. <laughs> Norway. I hate why? your candy. The people might be cool as hell, but your oh, your candy is so bad. Mm. It's it's so sugary too, though. That's that's a really surprise. It's like pure sugar with licorice nastiness. That's like the sweetest. It's odd. I, I hate it. It's mm. the sweetest thing we've eaten, though. It's or the I've sweetest eaten. It's like thing. So sh so sugary. But it's like bitter. It's, it's disgusting. Got like this bitter terribleness. Oh, I don't like it. No. Ah, okay. Okay. Please bring us something good, Ukraine. Nope. No, it looks so happy though. Look at him. There's like happy little. I don't even know what that is. I gotta send that. Hold on. Oh well. <laughs> I just. I just wanna pull one out. You can go ahead and read the yeah, back. Yeah. Show them the. Can it's better without. It's the got thing. like a little happy bee on it. It looks cute. Roshan, What's it called? Roshan Confections began in 1996 and has already ranked 18. Largest confectioner in the world. The company is named for founder Petro Pro Proshenko, where they got the Roshan. They even have the little thing in red. Who, in 2014, was elected president of Ukraine. What? Well, it's a boxer now, I think. This better be good. One of my friends is Ukrainian, so I'm sending him a picture of it right nice. now. To these, say, hey, have you eaten these before? They're jelly-type sweets. Uh, they're uncommon in the U.S. with a stiff gummy exterior and, exterior and jelly center. Flavors include cherry, orange, strawberry, lemon, pink, grapefruit, pink grapefruit, and cranberry. Oh wait, these are different flavored? I guess. Well, oh, they are gummy. Well, that's weird. Ooh, I, I love that. gummies. That's weird. That's an interesting. I'm so I got a... I got, ooh, oh, this is so like they so got cool. Stuff in the middle, huh? Yeah, there's like a, you can kind of see it. There's like a, there's like a thing like floating in the middle of the gummy. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that yours is much better. I got a, I got a orange red one and it's got a thing in it. All right, bite it in half. I got a grapefruit one. Mm -hmm. You want to try the grapefruit one? You want to switch? You know. What'd you have? I think it's orange. It tastes like weird orange. It's kind of gross though, like when you squish it. That doesn't look right. <laughs> no. It's like creamy in the middle. Ooh. Creamy. <laughs> creamy beige. Stop right? creamy yeah, beige. Like, like mine is creamy beige. <laughs> mm. Huh. Mm. It's an interesting candy. That's no. good. I've never eaten anything like it. You could tell that was grapefruit right off the bat. I love grapefruit flavor. Mmm. It's got a weird texture. I want the rest. Alright. I gotta take one of my Ukrainian okay. friend though. Napoleon Bonbons with a clever French <laughs> slogan. This is from Belgium, by the Napoleon way. Napoleon Bonbons. Um, Very good. Le Bon Bonbon date all the way back to 1912 in Antwerp when sugar baker Louis Jansen created a new Soured Center Candy. A rival con confectioner uh -oh. had just created a truffle and named it Caesar. So Louis, not to be outdone, famously proclaimed, then I will call mine Napoleon. So, so wait, these are like little sour candies. What country is this from? Belgium. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna take the red one. I'm afraid, are they sour? They are sour, they're sour candies. I like sour. Oh, baby. This is a sour hard candy. I'll try this. Okay. I'm afraid you took like a good color. Well, that's because I had it first. Is it really, really sour? No. This thing's a joke. Well, oh, okay, good. it did say sour centered. Oh. I'm, I'm expecting it to taste like a warhead, and it doesn't. It's not sour on the outside, it's really sweet on the inside. It might be super sour on the inside. I don't even know what flavor this is. 
I can taste a little bit of the sour juice oh, leaking out. This tastes just like Except a lemon this. head. Mine does. Did you buy it? Mm -mm. You know how those fizzy candies? Mm. They're hard and then like the fizzy stuff starts leaking out. <laughs> That'd be really gross. I think it would warn us. That'd be really funny though. Mm. Is it really sour on the inside? Oh. <laughs> you got water. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> that was a terrible surprise. You shouldn't have bit into that. I told you it was sour. It's probably not. If you like warheads, it's probably normal sour for you, but I can't handle sour. That was really good until the middle. It's like a sweet tart in the middle. It was not like a sweet tart. I actually eat those. Well, the pink one is. You picked a yellow one, that was your problem. Well, Let you me. picked a pink one. The only pink one. Can't help they only put one in there. Okay, are you ready? Do you wanna keep going? On your candy for a bit? Well. I'm gonna take a bite into it. I mean, I gotta eat it. It would be a shame not to finish. Do you hear the whistles? Mm -hmm. It's good. It wasn't really sour. It wasn't like a sour a sour to war head. Well, we've all had this this next one before. Six lids. I didn't know these were Canadian. Thanks, Canada. And you're welcome for everything else. No, we don't. That was really lame. Six lips. I used to, when I was six years old, I demanded to have six lips at my birthday party because I love these candies so much and they're like slightly fruity. Okay, created in the early 1960s by Hershey's. Oh, oh, okay, so it started in America. In a true old time American favorite, the Six Lips brand was sold to Oak Leaf Confections out of Toronto in 2003. Six Six Lips gets its name because they were originally sold in little packs of six for one penny. An authentic penny candy. Penny? Mmm. It tastes fruity. Am I the only person who thinks they taste fruity? Um, if I can get mine out. Because they like smell fruity. They're different. They definitely got a different chocolate taste. I know that. Well, I still have that sour taste in my mouth. My Ukrainian friend said that this is her mom's favorite candy. That yes. Ukrainian one. Oh, really? Yeah, she's like, where the hell did you get that? In a box. 30 days of candy. Mmm. Yeah, it's got, it's got a different flavor. I love the six lips. It's like, it's malty, I think. Yeah, it tastes like, like Whoppers without the crunchiness. Mm -hmm. That's like probably malted. why I like them so much, because I love Whoppers. A malted candy. All right. Malted. Italia. Did you see? Oh, we don't need to show what six looks like. This looks like it's a spinach on the outside. <laughs> um, Let me see. It says peachy. Peachy. Uh, in the picturesque city of Perugia, Italy, the famed Perugina candy company, makers of Bocce chocolates are also famous for these delicious hard candies. They go by the name Spici de Sorrento, Wedges of Sorrento. Sorrento is a beautiful seaside Italian city known for its abundance of fragrant citrus trees. Flavors include lemon, orange, and tangerine. We got Mandarino, Arancia, and Limone. So the mandarino or whatever is gonna be the tangerine. Tangerine? I'm not eating that. I want that one. You want that one? Yeah, give me that tangerine. I don't want the lemon. I've had enough of lemon taste. I'll go last one. There's only one of them. Are these hard? Yeah, they're hard candies. I gotta get the chocolate. They're like, up. I shouldn't have done. Well, now you get to see my spit colored one, but they're like little orange slices. Citrus. Mm. Oh, it's like double wrapped. It is. Mine is. Mine was not. Oh no, there it is. Oh. 
So it's like managed to power through it. Yeah, it's just a little clear slice. That tastes like a tangerine. That tastes just like a tangerine. That is exactly tangerine taste. Mine tastes like lemon Italian soda. It's like, I mean, it's like tangerine without the edge, the citrusy edge. But I find this quite pleasant. I like this one. It's like really not sour at all. Oh man. Okay. okay, go ahead. So the next one is from Turkey and it's Haribo gummy bears. Sugar-free gummy bears. Giving the world the <laughs> These are not sugar-free. Thank goodness, or else I wouldn't even put these near my face. <clears throat> Haribo, the German company that first invented gummy candies in 1922, including their famous Golden Bears, makes almost all of their gummies for the American market, including these minis in their factory in Turkey. So it's like not really it's not a Turkish Turkey. candy. It's yeah. like German candy that got because made because we there. have like a Hershey's factory in Mexico. That means it's Mexican. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Haribo is the largest gummy manufacturer in the world. Fun fact, the name Haribo is an acronym for the founder's name and the city where they were first created, Hans Reigel Bonn. Gummy bears. I'm gonna eat one. They give us like three little adorable right, teeny we'll tiny packets. Package. Oh my, I cannot open these very well. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna pick up. I really love these, like, light orange ones. I guess yellow. <laughs> light orange. Yum. Happy late morning. You mean afternoon? <laughs> that was a conversation that actually went down at work. <laughs> I'll work. It was 11 o'clock. All right, so that's 12 that we gone through. So three more? I see cheaper chips, right? Don't just pick and choose. We gotta deal with the ones. I know, this is just, these were here. Chupa chups! I'm, I'm, I think everybody's had chupa chups. They're little ice cream flavored candies, uh, or lollipops, uh, in, 1859, it suddenly struck candy maker Enric Bernatz that since kids tend to take candy in and out of their mouths, creating a sticky mess, parents needed a product that would be like eating a sweet with a fork. So he created Chupa Chups. Does that mean this is the first lollipop ever? Wow. So yeah, fun fact, while the name comes from the Spanish verb chupar, meaning to <laughs> suck, the logo was designed by Spaniard Salvador Dali. That's mm. the painter, right? Yeah. The melting. The melting clogs, clogs painter. Yeah. And he did some other stuff. <laughs> None of which I know the name. Oh, because I get it. So mm. that was a joke, cause to suck and Dali together. I'm like, why is that a fun fact? But I don't. I get, I don't it. get it. It, it was because they were saying that. The this means to suck, but they had Dali, who was a famous painter, who obviously didn't suck, do the logo. I don't know, man. I don't know math. There's this black one that yeah. makes me nervous. Licorice. I think I thought they were all. I thought they all Chupa Chups are ice cream flavored, but that didn't say that. What? So maybe not. I, but I always thought they. I thought they were like ice cream flavored. No, this is like. Pineapple or something weird. It's not, I don't think it's licorice. I'm gonna take the chance. Oh, mine's strawberry. Yeah, the, all the other ones are strawberry. Super sweet, oh. strawberry-ish. There's a... Cherry one, maybe, in another room. It looks like tomatoes. There's a... <laughs> Here's mine. Oh, it does look like look tomatoes. Look, it, it's so cute. They're little, they're just like dum-dums. Yeah. And Spanish dum-dums. It kind of tastes the same. I didn't know these were. I guess I should have. These are a lot sweeter than Dum Dums, I think. Really? I can't get mine open. Oh. You gotta power through it. And I'm, okay. I'm not having no Sweet inside. motivation. Uh, this is yellow. So. Is, <laughs> what? I don't know what that Maybe is. Maybe it is pineapple. Because it looks a little pineapple y. 
still low, and there's like a brown like mm. stick. <laughs> I think you got like maybe a banana like, sundae. It looks like I got like the poop and pee flavor. <laughs> Eat it. Is a banana? All it tastes is chocolate. Even the yellow tastes like chocolate. <laughs> Oh, it was chocolate. Does the yellow <laughs> taste like chocolate? I don't, yeah, it all tastes like chocolatey and mellow. Oh. Mine is. I don't know. Mm. It's not pineapple. It tastes like that kind of like artificial chocolate, you know, like chocolate imitation flavor. Yeah. And that's what that, that was the big thing for the Milkita for me. It didn't taste like that. It tasted like actual chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, or like like a chocolate shake, I guess. Yeah, it kind of tastes like... Fake chocolate? It kind of tastes like a Tootsie Roll. There you go, that's the, exactly. That's, that's a, not a huge fan of those. <clears throat> My turn. I'm gonna choose right. two. No, I didn't. I just saw them from the top. I just oh. picked something. I didn't go like. You can't wow. even see the labels with it. Oh, I thought you were like. <laughs> no. It looked like you were looking. I was at it. counting them. To okay. Make sure that we were gonna stop at half. Well, now we I'm have. Starting to get half too much candy. In right now. now we have a candy of Colombina. Okay. Started in 1928 by Fernando. I don't even know how to say that. Saicero. Probably. That's weird. I'm not used to not being able to pronounce that. And run today by his grandson, Cesar. Colombina controls over half of the candy market in Colombia. They're powerful. These chocolate filled caramels are a bestseller. Chocolate filled caramel! Well, at least we're gonna end on a mildly high note. Fusione. That sounds what Italian. Is the what was the one that was terrible? Oh, the licorice from Norway. <laughs> you already forgot. As long as we don't, out. as long as we don't end with something like that. Oh, All weird. Right. Fun fact: Colombina, the girl on the logo, has nothing to do with Colombia. She is the name of a 16th-century Venetian character from the famous Italian commedia dell'arte. And there's, it's really hard to tell. But in, oh, in the bright white light. Uh, I don't, down. Oh, yeah. There's a, like a girl hanging out in the moon, like the DreamWorks logo. Yes, <laughs> I'm very bad at this. Okay. Mm. Is it good? Caramel and chocolate, you can't really go wrong. Apparently, you can. I don't like it. This makes me sad. <laughs> this tastes like sadness. Mm. What is that? I don't know, but I don't like it. I decidedly do not like this candy. It's like the caramel decided to be cardboard with, again, Tootsie Roll flavor. That's not real chocolate and milk. Did I say it's um, hard to go wrong because they actually did it? Good job, Colombina. Alright. It cool. is Colombian too. Yeah. I don't like it. No more fusione for me. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm, no, no, no. Yep. That's bad. That's pretty bad. I don't like that. All right, last one. It's not. It's not the worst, though. It's definitely no licorice. Latvia, <gasps> which I'm pretty sure is where Doctor Doom comes from. Where what? Doctor Doom. Actually, that's Latveria, but still. Oh. All right. One of the three Baltic countries, Latvia gained independence in 19, 18, 1918. There we go. Wow. Good yeah, job, Latvia. World War II was occupied first by the Soviets, then the Nazis, and the Soviets again, regaining independence only in 1991. Oh my god, whole Latvia! Lima became making, began making candy in Latvia in 1870, 
long before independence and thrives today as the Baltic's largest confectioner. These are yummy hazelnut and praline chocolates. Okay, and there's only three of them. They're really big. So hazelnut nice and praline chocolates! I don't have my hopes up. After that oh. last one, got my hopes they up. They might just, you know, that one just might be stale. Like, if we were there again, like, In sometimes candies really change. And it's probably hard to get some of these. Wait. This is an actual piece of chocolate, too. Whoa! There you go. <gasps> it's so beautiful. There it is. It looks like and a mint wrapper beauty. though. It smells delicious. Mmm. It's soft. It's not That's a how you end out a... It's like... Mmm. This makes up for Norway. Barely. Barely. Mmm, that's so good! I have no way it killed my soul a little bit. It, a little it just bit. keeps getting better as you chew it. it is. I, I mean, I already finished it. They like put a little slightly saltiness in it. Like, just barely. It's because of them pralines. Yeah, that was a good candy. I think... Yeah. So far... I mean, it's kind of cheating because it's chocolate. Well, chocolate, so was the so last far, one. <laughs> so far, well, that's... That's gonna be my favorite one. That's my favorite. Of all the. I think my second favorite. Latvia, you win. My second Unanimous. favorite is the um, the gummies or the jelly gummies from, from Ukraine? Ukraine. So thanks, Ukraine, for being awesome. And I'm sorry for everything, even though it wasn't our fault. I like. I'm gonna say my second favorite are these Belgium. Napoleon bonbons. I like the sour. I don't and like the, the hard candy wasn't too hard. It was it was chewy. I think for third place I'm gonna go with these Italian like citrus candies that aren't really citrus but just like they just have these little cute wet wedges. Those are really Alright and yeah. the last yeah the last one for my top three I'm gonna say Milkita for getting chocolate right on a Non actually chocolate candy. So good for you guys. Good job. So we're halfway around the world. Uh, that's the first half. We're gonna do the second half next week. I can only do so much candy in one day. Yep, I am um, just on the verge of getting sick. <laughs> right. So um, keep it locked here on backlog battles for unboxings, uh, gameplay reviews, and now tastings. Uh, until next week, nerd life, yo. Bye-bye.